Exactly. Get on over here, ninja. <laughs> See, you got it on me. <laughs> I knew Gensinto and the other words, too. I guess we'll find out how good they work. It's kind of comfy for a snazzy thing. It's interesting and tight, so you can put your other shit over top of it, but. I guess we'll find out here when uh, oh, it's like so cold now. So she'll get on the bar. <laughs> Walk around the there, she be walking around the bar on it. Yeah, got panties on. I don't know if that's a good idea. That was. Be walking around the bar. I think I want to walk around with a boner. That might be bad. <laughs> Chinese germs on me now. Mm -hmm. Oh, cuties in my fur. <laughs> yeah, I thought they were the waffle ones. Hmm. Must be a new one. Must be a new thing or something. I don't know. Oh, it stretches good. As tight as it is, you move. I might make it. I'm enjoying it. I'll break it in and find out. Mm-hmm. Man, if they can buy more, if not, don't buy no more. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Try it out. Ten dollar, what the hell? That's what I figured. <laughs> Alright, what do you think? Yeah, I don't know. I got a couple off well, I only got one good one. I got one that's all falling apart. One good one and I was like, Well, I'm gonna grab a set too because I ain't got no yeah, I, got I ain't got no the pants no more, they're all freaking trash. Uh, I got a pair of pants and my shirts are all trashed. I got one good shirt, one of that was all ripped out of. And, and they had to rate her mom to insert some pants over there too, but they were 10 bucks for a pair of pants and 10 bucks for a shirt. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I guess we'll point out if you don't freeze to death with these things on, I don't know. Looks pretty comfortable though. I think you jump in the crew with a sucker, I don't know. Find out. Uh -huh. Maybe from sweating to death. Yeah. I'm freezing to death. That's what I want. The more you don't know, fucking sweat to death, I just start sweating, and then it starts fucking getting colder. Mm -hmm. and that's when I buy the waffle ones. When you start sweating them, they get all wet, and they yeah, suck it all in. Yeah, just... Maybe that'll work better. I don't know. Uh, we'll find out. You got one. Try I got out. one, too. We'll find out. We got their Ninja uh, Warrior and Deers. Their shoulders <laughs> are about bigger than mine. They're going to be... They're going to be crushing. I see you got lots of... But I got lots of fat. I think I got more fat than you got. I'm working on it. You're running it all though. It should be good. It's just right down there. Yeah. Yeah, here it goes down your knees. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's what I worry about. A two X. Like, right, you get the three X. Yeah, that's what you should be wearing a shirt. Yeah, because my T-shirt size was the three, three but. but they didn't have no three. Two X's nowadays are a freaking, I don't know, my belly button is sticking out. Yeah, yeah, your belly. I'm not like one of them teenage girls, so they don't want nobody to see my no, belly button. No, no, no. <laughs> no one wants to see mine either. I'm going to keep it encapsulated. <laughs> Good deal. I didn't know about it. No, they felt pretty comfy, but I don't know about it. They look comfy and sticking out. Oh, yeah, they're like all sewed up in there. I think that. Yeah, the fingers don't seem to pull out. Yeah, they're like sewed up in the fingers. Yeah, I tried like. another one and as soon as I pulled my fingers out, the damn inside came out with them. I was like, son of a Yeah, no, you don't want those. I hate those. That drives me insane. And you're trying to put it back on and say, oh, you're in there fighting one for an hour. Yeah, I don't really like it. One of my hands sold already. I can't get my glove on and my pinky's on it this long. And... Mm -hmm. That's always the pinky yeah, one gets all jacked up, too. You get that back in there or you get another wrong hole or something. And... Yeah, he does. Yeah, he'd be all good for sun riding. No. Yeah. Now you can go down the hill. Get your old suit on. And get oh, yeah. Oh, man, this thing's got to slide good on the snow. <laughs> get that baby good for another 100 mile an hour. Why don't you get you a pair when you go out of the game, Kyle? Okay. All right. 
Yeah, you can get him for a yeah, nice bought, on him. I bought a 2X uh, Roti waffle shirt. Brought it home. I gave it to Michelle. I couldn't fit it. And they come down and lay hair on me. You know, I bought one at one time. That's what it did. Yeah. Once yeah. I got a damn Belgian. Lot of sleeves were. Yeah. Yeah, long. Yeah, the damn shirt was, was this on. long. I gave it to Michelle. I said, I can't fit this. I said, Don't even come down to my belly button. <laughs> It was like tear on me. <laughs> I was like, I need a 3X. <laughs> yeah, I got a good pair of pants. In the fat like, man size. <laughs> my damn shirts I wore. I had two good shirts I wore them up. That's how I got these tickies at Walmart. They're like six bucks for a 3X. I got, I got, a, I got a couple packs last time I was These are there. thick, too. These are good ones. Pockets. I like these yeah. ones. Yeah, and they got the shirt pocket. Yeah, that's where that red one come from. Come on, uh. Okay, they don't worry. I had to get a 3X though, because the 2X was too short. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I, I can't tuck in the 2X yeah, under my belt. Belly, uh, These uh, season ones I can tuck in under my belt because of the 3X, but the 2X are too short. Everything. Sneeze are long and everything else is long, but it don't fit around my fat belly. <laughs> And then start doing sit ups in the wintertime or well, pulling I don't deers know. I think up. That's the problem. I said it's making them smaller now because they're just making them smaller now. I know I'm fine. I got a couple of shirts I used to be able to fit and I put them on and it's like, oh, it's like yeah, oh. yeah, they're like they did with shoestrings that oh, one time. Shoestrings are oh, only yeah. this long. Now you get 18 yards of shoestring uh -huh. again. <laughs> Look, I remember there for years. You could buy a damn. Try to lace up your pair of boots and get up the top and then... Uh, that's not enough to tie it. Yeah, that's what you're talking about. I remember that. That was back when shoes would last longer and you had to replace the laces. Because yeah, the laces still good. I, yeah, I think that's the problem. <laughs> it wasn't selling on boots or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every time I buy a damn pair of new boot laces, it's on all bitches they can... They'd break. Mm-hmm. Well, whenever you get the damn things in there, you can't even time on the phone. Oh like, my god, you're getting dirt over none of this carpet, she's gonna skin you. Oh my gosh. I got 16 holes in my boots. Why don't you move that bend closer? She ain't dumping dirt over the carpet, Kyle. It's still don't fit. That's gonna kill us. Yeah, it's gonna whoop your ass. Carpet's already fucked up enough and ends up Move the bend dirt. over to the thing instead of carrying it over there. There you go. There you go. <laughs> it's made Nana more of a mess than one prize. You don't seem too happy to start with. <laughs> that, that's no, 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 where That's where your mama gets it from, Kyle, just so you know. Yeah, I know. This is our. <laughs> I got fucking ape shit over nothing. You're going to have to take Nana's down the rural king, though. But you better make sure you get there early and get a whole day to freaking fish yeah. on it. <laughs> No, you can't. I don't go shopping with Nana because she's worse than I am. She just stops and stares. Oh my God, it would take her three days to get to well, the At least. <laughs> we didn't even go to the outside no, party. I know, time. but she's she's a stopper and stare. I mean, it's like two steps. Well, we do it around the outside party. Well, yeah, I saw the I'm there stuck there. here. I turned my head. I look. I'm stuck here. I'm yeah. stuck here. They I'm stuck here longer. Yeah. Yeah. Big ass freaking feeders for the cows and shit, and horses. And... I don't have no cows and I don't have no horses. Well, if you have a cow, we need some dead cows and shit to put in your yeah. new freezer. Well, you know, if you ever decide to get one, or, you know, you got all the shit down there. Everything, they got everything. Yeah. I told you. <laughs> I'd like to make another run out of whitings again. The last beef I bought out there, I didn't like it. Didn't you say you got some bad lamb or something there last time? Pig. Just the pig? Yeah, I don't know who don't know who the drunk cut up the fucking pig, but I heard or something. I couldn't remember what it was. Beef wasn't all that great, but I didn't get off of walls, Zach. I, I called Stan and he only had like a quarter or something. I wanted he only had oh he only had like an oil or something left or something. And I wanted a quarter. Hmm. We need to run down there and get some more freaking. Yeah, Stan claims you can't eat a half a cow. I said, I can eat that. We do eat a half a cow. <laughs> He said, well, I don't want to sell you that much because you don't know, you don't know how much meat I said, Stan, everyone's lying, I know how much they are. 
I said, I know how much meat it is. <laughs> So I want to sell like a quarter, and I wanted something. I got more than a quarter. It was a quarter and a half. I forget what the fuck they call it. It was between a quarter and a half. And yeah, something. counts. Right about 4,000 pounds. So half a count about 2,000 pounds of meat. Boom, so about 1,500 pounds. I'm guessing. Yeah, they killed 1,200 pounds. All right. I'm just guessing about 1,500 pounds. Half, six, seven, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty yeah. close. Yeah, they said the good eating size is 1,200. That's on the hoof, or you don't get all that meat, you know. That's, right, right. They weigh that sucker right there. And, yeah. When it's still, when it's still going moo moo, it's 4,000 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, that's a going, big one. No, it's going moo moo. Yeah, and they're you know, about 4,000 pounds a piece, so. 1,200 yeah. pounds. Uh, so, you only know, get about 300, you only get about 300, 300 something pounds out of it. Yeah. Really? That's Which it? is a lot of meat. Yeah, it's still a lot, but I think it'd be a little more than that. Yeah, my cousin used to raise them all the time. Oh, yeah, you can get them bigger than that, but they like to kill them about 1,200 for the maggots. They want to kill them about 1,200 pounds. I think the biggest one that Kristen 12 had, to 1,500 pounds. I think it was 3,800 pounds, yeah. and she got about a quarter of a pound. And then the last year she did it, she didn't like the black one because the black one kicked her in the head, and she was done with the black ones because she got scared and got a white one. And I think she only got like 15 cents a pound for that one. That was the last year she done it. Uh, that black one was mean and ornery as fuck. I think it was this close to his hoof one. <laughs> you know, cows can kick sideways. They don't make a horse. Horses ah, can kick backwards. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. They can, he kicked they his can legs go straight away. sideways. And it, I was like, oh. Well, it, you you make the horse you fucking. No, right by my forehead. I think then my, my uncle just grabbed on that freaking rope and he just punched him right in the head like three times. Said, settle your ass down. <laughs> Cause they were walking up through the field and said, trying oh, to get yeah, ready yeah. for the fair. Cause you know when you take them out to auction them, you gotta walk them up to the thing. Yeah, you gotta get them to the thing. He'd start bucking and kicking and shit. He was so fucking ornery. Oh, he did. Yeah. He didn't kick her. He kicked her right in the stomach though. And then. That's gonna uh, hurt. That's what I about. That bear rock. Uh -huh. that's gonna, oh, I know. That's gonna leave a mark. That son of a bitch was about thirty-eight hundred pounds though when she sold them. I think she sold them. I think Burger King bought them for like twenty-six cents a pound or something. And that was damn, it was, it was like 3,860 pounds or something. It was, it was dangerously close to 4,000 pounds. He was a fucking hog and he was ignorant as hell too. Yeah. Yeah. That way they got it was a lot more mellow than the black one. That black last black one had was so he was fucking ignorant. Man, I'm in a little pen, that's probably half the size of the kitchen. Picking Brady, he barely had enough room to turn around and we just got feeding them. That's all they do. We made them huge. And like me and my cousin and Chris and you know, and we walk through the field and shit and my uncle would grab the rope and run his neck to walk them. Trying to, we just walk around them, trying to get them used to people. To, <laughs> you take them out there, you have to walk them up to the thing to auction them. And uh, that was the only walk you got, like once a week, <laughs> we'd take them for a walk there, trying to get them used to people, and then you start jumping them up. And I'm just about kicking my head off. I don't know, I'll never forget that. I'd back up, come straight outside, where's one? Like a ninja cat. And I was like, ooh! <laughs> and Michael just got on the ropes, like, boom, boom, settle down! <laughs> right in the forehead. <laughs> I think that was fucking yeah, great. Mike Morphy's <laughs> had a bull up on him. Pat had that bull. <laughs> and one of them fucking bulls is fucking breed. That fucker, he was about 4,000 pounds. Yeah, I think he, he was. He stayed a, out in the middle of that fucking field and he just stayed there in the middle. Yeah, that's anything. They he said, whenever you come up here and go hunt or anything, don't cut across that field. Oh, yeah, don't fucking do it. Don't do it. Yeah, I think that one heard the way it was a little over 3,800 pounds, like 3,860 pounds or something. And Mike and Mark used to tear the shit out of the damn thing. They'd take a damn two by four up there, run and smash it up yeah, on his head. Yeah, on the head. Just to piss him off. 
I remember Rick had a little mini bike we jumped on. It was mini bike. and Ari and Pat said, don't get anywhere near them. If you're going <laughs> not over on that side of Patchfield, make sure you go around the fence and go to that side of Patchfield. Hey, Michael's house was <laughs> here. The cornfield was here. Nellie's house was here. Charlie's farm was over here. And the, the cow pasture was across the field there. We went up there in a mini bike and was walking with the cows and punched them in the head and shit. And that bull came out. We jumped down a little mini bike and went down past the cornfield and everything. That bull come right through the fence. Mm -hmm. And then we went to cut through Nellie's front yard and mm -hmm. the old lady there. And there shit a big freaking picking table there. That thing hit the picking table or something. <laughs> and that's what it was destroyed. <laughs> and then he stopped and looked and we're in that little freaking Honda mini bike going like freaking 35 hours. Go, baby girl! I need more! I was like, Holy Give shit. me another gear! <laughs> that bull just like stopped and it was like just huffing and shit. And, yeah, and then they had to go freaking catch the bull and get him back in the pan and fix it. And then, yeah, that's the fucking meanest one. Yeah, yeah. Then, then his mom comes out the next day, you know, wakes us up in the morning, next morning. Um, you need to go up there. It's like, Charlie's fixing the fence, but you guys are going to have to go up there and fix Nellie's picnic table. And we were like, what are you talking about? <laughs> She's like, I ain't stupid. I don't damn know. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what you kids did last night, but <laughs> when we yeah. wasn't here... <laughs> Because his, his mom and his dad were both at work, so that was they were spending the weekend. <laughs> yeah, Patty never kept too many. He kept that bowl. He used to sell the fucking bowl spur. Oh, that bowl was ignorant. <laughs> he made like twelve hundred bucks yeah. selling yeah. the fucking come off that bowl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can get some money doing that. Oh my grandpa. That's the only reason he kept it. it. That's the only one. He had a couple cows. He kept just for a little bit of milk, but he didn't keep them. There. He liked his pigs. He's more of a pig farmer. You know where the... His pigs, you find... Oh, man, him's a mean-ass pigs, too. You know right there where the, the trains cross the track right there? Like there's Custer's dam used to be? Luckily, he's living down past there. Oh, okay. Okay. My grandpa lived down in Wampum. He was like the sheriff's deputy or something at the time. So the time he got a call out there by them tracks. He said this old farmer guy had one of them old freaking pickups, you know, back when they were all metal and the grill and everything. He said he was coming up on the tracks and it was all foggy. And all of a sudden the tracks went boom, stopped. Here one of the bulls got out and put his head down in the fog and he never even seen the bull and it just rammed his freaking truck and it was just trying everything. And he was stuck inside the front of the truck and the metal and shit in the old trucks. He's like, they never had to get that guy to come down there and get the old kid to shoot the bull because he wasn't getting him out. He was so freaking pissed. <laughs> He's like, if he got him out, he would kill us all, so we had to shoot the bull and put him down. <laughs> but he's like, that old guy that freaking come, around, come up on them tracks, though, he's like, I know there wasn't no train there. Yeah, there wasn't really no train. Yeah, but he said it was foggy out, and he didn't see that. <laughs> that bull just come out of nowhere and put his head down, just bam. And he said, he got wedged right there inside that freaking grill in that old big of him. I don't know how long ago that was. Yeah, it was a long time ago. <laughs> Yeah, he said it just stopped that pig up like right now. Yeah, Pat, he liked them fucking pigs. Oh, he didn't like them pigs. They never down the roof. They're, 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 they're fucking meaner than a damn Yeah, they were. They'd bite you and kick mud. I just would walk down there and that thing would turn around and kick mud out the pen at me. They make all kinds of snort noises. Oh, they hate everything. They make all kinds of noises. I was praying like. I was probably like five or six years old. I remember I come down there and that damn, that damn hog had two of them. And they were just meaner and all get out. And they freaking, they'd turn around and start kicking mud. I was like 20 feet away from them. They started snorting at me and shit and turn around and just kick mud over that pen at me. Yeah. Just trying everything to kill me, you know. I know we can't get up the pen, so I'm just going to kick mud out at you. <laughs> the freaking things are... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get a nice one. Get that motherfucker just big around. Yeah, that's what he's on. He had two of them down there. He's the like, legs don't, don't look like he got no legs no more. Uh -huh. <laughs> he's just sinking the ground while he's walking. I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm six years old. 